Hello YouTube, we are back with another build video. It is me, Pedro McLovin, and today I wanted to bring you a think outside the box build. I wanted to try to test myself to see if I can come up with something that maybe not a lot of people are using. So today's build, we're gonna focus on one aspect of the game that is underutilized because people are scared of it. All right, today's build is going to be the dunker of the year. So the person that can dunk on everybody. That's what we're making today. Now, I will tell you, this build does have some sacrifices because of it. Some things that I don't like to give up, we have to give up so this build can do the things that we want it to do. All right. So for today's build, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna take a look at our position. Uh, I went through a few different positions with this. I was really hoping to make a cool shooting guard because it's a not, again, it's a position that not a lot of people are using, but it just didn't give what I needed it to give. So uh, I also took a look at point guard because of speed, right? Downhill, being able to get on that fast break and get out, I think would be really cool for this type of build, but Again, I wanted to make sure that we could get the things that we needed to get while making this build. I didn't want this build to only be able to dunk. It needs to be able to do some other things as well. So because of that, we went small forward. This is how we get more badge points. This is how we can still do the things that we want to do. And our speed isn't, isn't gone, right? We still have some speed. It's not the fastest build, but the things it's going to be able to do, I promise you. All right. So. Again, journey, jersey number and whatever hand you use does not matter, but this does, right? So the height. I went around, I took a look at a few different heights. Um, there were some cool things with it, some things that, that we could get. We could get our speed, um, which, you know, going down to 6'5 may not be a bad thing. Even 6'6, six, six, you will still be able to do some of the things that you want to do um, in you know, you're going to be able to get dunking on this, this build and you're going to be able to get your speed up. But for today's build, again, I wanted to think outside the box. So I went six, seven. We took our weight all the way down because this is going to get our speed up and we put our wingspan up to a seven. Okay. Seven foot wingspan. This is something that's going to be more difficult with a 6.5 or 6.6. And this is something else I've noticed. I have a center build, which I'll be releasing, you know, in the next coming days that I want to share with you guys. But on that center build, I don't have interceptor like on anything. And my steel isn't super high, but I tip a lot of passes just because of the length of my arm. So that's something that you want to you want to pay attention to while you can sacrifice, you know, your height to get more speed. It's what else are you sacrificing? And that's the common denominator in the most of my build videos is what are you sacrificing to get the things you want to get, right? So body shape doesn't matter. Let's jump right into it. All right, so for the metrics, we'll focus on our finishing first. Uh, for this particular build, what I did is I put the driving layup and the driving dunk all the way up to a 99. Right. If you take a look at this right now, you have 23 badge points in finishing already. And take a look at the actual potential badges. You have Acrobat on Hall of Fame, Fearless Finisher Hall of Fame, Poster Riser Hall of Fame. Talk about highlights. Mouse in the House Hall of Fame, Lob City Finisher Hall of Fame, Limitless Takeoff. If you guys don't know this badge, this badge is crazy this year free throw takeoffs all right so you got your pro touch slithery finisher teardropper which is again another underutilized aspect of the game this year and unstrippable which is a huge badge this year huge badge all right you get all of those just with this but we're not done yet okay so we're going to take our close shot we're going to put this up to a 75 the reason for this is the fast twitch okay this is why i want it on 75 on gold fast twitch this is the ability to to do a, a dunk a standing dunk or a standing layup quicker okay so if you are underneath the hoop and you want to be able to put it up along with mouse in the house it's a little bit crazy all right and then the last aspect of it is we are going to put our standing dunk 
up to a 65. Okay, the reason for this one is this badge right here. We want to get it on bronze, which is being able to uh, do standing dunks a little bit better, right? You only have a 65, but with uh, your dunk, with your close shot, and with rise up, even though it's on bronze only, it's, it's trust me, it's gonna work really good, all right? So let's go down to our shooting. We're gonna get our three-point shooting all the way up to an 83. If you guys have watched any of my videos before or, or not, the metric you really wanna get to is a 75 and three-pointer. You can green everything. And then we're gonna put our mid-range up to a 75. This the reason, again, if you guys take a look at the badge points, as you're going through making a build, if you get to a plateau, we could get it up a little bit higher, 60, uh, 76, 77, which is great. But what we're really looking for is that change in the badge point. So if we go from 74 to 75, not only do we get the extra badge point, but if you guys saw, difficult shots goes up, right? So if this is somewhere that you wanna put an extra badge point in and get difficult shots up, it's cool, man. You're able to do your hop step shots, spin, step backs, pull ups, all that a little bit more effectively, which isn't a huge thing for this type of build, but it does give you that ability if that's something that you wanna to, want to do. All right, so playmaking. I told you, some things are gonna to have to get sacrificed. And with this particular type of build, you should be playing off ball. You're not the ball handler, right? So your pass accuracy does not get touched on this build. And I know, I know, I stress the importance of pass accuracy and bullet passer every single build. And if you can get that, always get it, right? Bronze, silver, gold, or higher. Pass accuracy is huge. But if you were an off-ball type of player, which this is, your pass accuracy is not the most important thing and it's not gonna break your build, right? So what you're able to do with this one is we then focus on speed with ball because we wanna be able to get our downhill on Hall of Fame, which again is a pro-am type build. So you're able to get out, get the ball, even on park, if you get the ball on a fast break, you are gone, right? And then we are gonna put our ball handle up to a 71, right? Again, if you take a look at it, you know, we go down to a 69, we're only at 12 badge points. We go up to a 70, we got a 13, great. But as I'm making this build, I had an extra badge point to put somewhere. So I put it in ball handle and you can see Right? If you take a look over here, our tight handles went from a bronze to a silver with just one extra point. So since I had the extra point, instead of just keeping it at 13 badge points, which is great, we go up one more and we get an extra badge unlock. So we want to use tight handles. We have that ability now on silver. Okay. All right, so the next one that we're gonna go down to is our perimeter defense. Again, defense is a little bit of a sacrifice with this build, okay? We can't go higher than an 88 perimeter defense. So an 88 perimeter defense is still good. You got clamps on gold, right, which is huge. I always mess this up, I always do the wrong stick. Clamps on gold, your defensive leader, which I think is another underutilized badge this year. You have that on gold, Menace on gold, Ankle Braces on gold, Hustler on Hall of Fame, which a lot of people don't utilize enough this year either. Um, Pick Dodger on Hall of Fame, all of that you have just from getting to an 88. So you're still gonna be able to bump guys on the, on the perimeter. Stealing, I think again, is a huge part of this. So if we can get our stealing up as high as we can, let's do it. So for this build, the highest we can get is a 73. We, with that comes with pickpocket on silver, interceptor on silver, so ball stripper on silver. So those that don't have the unstrippable that I talk about in the finishing, you can be able to knock the ball out as they're trying to go up. So you get some good badge unlocks with this. And right now we're sitting at 10 uh, badge points. So let's get a little bit more in defense, okay? 74 is what we're gonna put our block up to. Again, it we're just, you know, we don't get anything extra until we get to a 70, but I had some extra badge points, so let's throw into our block and that's gonna help us build it up a little bit more. And then for this particular build, we wanted to throw just a few um, in here to 
take a look at our rebounding. So we're just going to put our defensive rebounding at 31. It was just some extra badge points that we had that didn't, if we put it anywhere else, it didn't do anything. But what it does do is gives us a little bit more of an edge from those that didn't put anything in rebounding to those that put just a little bit, right? So speed, acceleration, always as high as we can. 82 and 80 for a small forward 6-7 build is really not that bad. Um, as we always do, we put our stamina up to at least a 92. Um, I don't like to sacrifice stamina as much as others do because I think it's important to have that. And here's a big part of this build. Our vertical, we put all the way up to a 94, okay? So uh, let's actually do this. We'll go down here and we'll put it up to a 95. I think 95 is more important to have than a couple extra points in rebounding. Okay, so we're gonna come up here. We're gonna take a look at this. Uh, we'll just throw it in free throw in case you do wanna play some pro-am. It gives you a couple extra points. And then here we have this build, okay? So this is our build. We have 29 finishing, 23 shooting, only 13 playmaking and 13 uh, defensive badges, along with an 82 speed, 95 vertical, 92 uh, stamina. This build is made for dunking. Again, take a look at these badges that you can get on Hall of Fame. If you go and you do your college, you get four extra badge points. For this particular build, you'd be looking at 33 potential badge points before you start unlocking in the season and getting more, right? 33. All right, so with this particular one, Limitless Takeoff, you got your Posterizer, Fearless Finisher, Slithery Finisher, Lob City Finisher, which makes that green window on alley-oops even bigger, uh, Pro Touch, Acrobat, I mean, unstrippable. You have all kinds of potential with this, but what you also unlock is those amazing dunk packages, okay? You're six seven. you're not too tall, you're fast enough, you can jump out of the gym, you're gonna be able to dunk on every single person with this type of build, right? That's what this build is all about. Yes, you did sacrifice some playmaking. Yes, you did sacrifice a little bit of defense, but you can still guard people on the perimeter. You can still strip people. You can still do your interceptor. This build maybe doesn't have as many badge points as the other builds that we make, but what it does is it gives you those badges that you really, really want, right? So for this particular build, we're gonna take a look at our primary and secondary takeover. Uh, I mean, clearly we're gonna be doing the finishing, right? So um, easy blow buys could be a cool one with this type of build because you don't really have the dribbling. Um, you can't get first step on, you know, quick first step on gold or hall of fame. So you're not gonna get a lot of that. So this could be a good one. Um, finishing moves is also another good one because you're able to, uh, you know, helps you absorb and finish through contact which is cool, but uh, advanced gathers, I mean, this is a cool one as well. So it's really just dependent on what you want to do. I would do finishing for uh, finishing moves for this one. Uh, as you can see, you also have shooting and you have your, your uh, lockdown uh, capability with this. But again, I would probably do like easy blow buys just because that's what this build is really for is you want to be finishing, 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 right? And so with all the stuff we did, the name of this build is a two-way inside-out scorer, right? So I'm not sure if you guys have made this type of build or seen this type of build, but this is what it's all about. You want to dunk on people? You want to be Dominique Wilkins? The, one of the best dunkers in the history of the NBA? This is how you do it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on notifications so you know when this next video is coming out. And we'll catch you guys next time.